stronger evidence. Harry was pushed aside. Meghan Markle's divorce is not far away. Doesn't it seem pretty weird that she couldn't manage to go anywhere without pawing on Harry? And now she's plastered across billboards all by herself? So the obvious question is Meghan slowly doing away with Harry? I mean, there was that Time magazine photo where Harry looking very emasculated with basically hiding behind Meghan. Clearly that was diminishing his role in the whole thing, but now is she totally shutting him out? Could it be that the devaluation phase has been entered? First Megan made him juggle in the background, and then he popped in just to say something stupid about Serena's hair. Each time, Megan is making Harry look smaller and smaller and making him look more ridiculous with each public appearance, and now she's being seen without him, so it's looking like Megan really is trying to push him out of the picture entirely. Why is Megan choosing to do this whole podcast by herself? Is she just trying to make money without Harry because she understands that a divorce is coming soon? Or is she the one who's planning on walking away? Is she just trying to make a name for herself before the money train gets pulled away? Why would somebody who seemed so clingy, so insecure, double-handedly clawing on Harry, suddenly be on billboards completely by herself wearing her husband beat her shirt? And why is Harry not getting involved with the podcast? Is it really his choice, or is it Megan? Harry's been doing a lot of solo traveling lately. It just doesn't make sense. See, I think that there is something seriously amiss in Montecito. See, Megan's a narcissist. We've already talked about that. And as a narcissist, she just used Harry as a vehicle to get her to where she believed she was entitled to be the whole time. The only time that she really hung on to Harry was in the UK, because at that point she was still working to manipulate him into believing that she needed to be close to him and that she needed him to protect her. That little strategy is actually how Meghan managed to get Harry to come to the US in the first place. And now that she's back home, she's got her platform thanks to Harry. And at this point, she doesn't really need him anymore, or at least so she believes. The reality is, though, that Meghan doesn't have any real talent, and that's exactly why she never became wealthy and famous all by herself in the years before she got with Harry. See, everything that she attempts failed because everybody one after the other realizes who and exactly what she is. Except for, of course, other narcissistic people. No, they'll just hang on to Megan's every word, because to them, she's really the epitome of a narcissist who has done well for herself. And Megan is just keeping on with these political aspirations, and now she's trying to make it on her own as a solo player while having Harry there in the background to provide the status that might be able to open some doors for her. Now, if the marriage really does end, I'm afraid that Meghan will always have access to the royal family through those kids if they're real. And I'm afraid that she will always have some made-up story to sell. Meghan is trying to make herself look like some kind of successor to Oprah, but she's not doing a very good job of it. If that latest podcast is any indication of what's to come, yeah, it doesn't look good. Harry has served his purpose already. He was a stepping stone to world domination for this nobody. But unfortunately for Megan, the more that we see and the more that we hear from her, the more absurd and dumb she appears. And an LA source has revealed that Harry is detaching from the podcast while plans are afoot to detach him from the marriage. He served his purpose with Meghan Markle, but he may want an excuse to escape. He's looked angry and miserable for a long time, never more so than at the Jubilee, where a penny began to drop in that dopey head of his. But in the end, the biggest fool is going to be Megan. See, once she doesn't have him to grab onto, she's gonna be very alone. Very, very alone. And nobody on her side. The drawbridge at the palace is gonna be up once that payoff is in her bank account. And I have another perspective on their relationship that I wanna share. So we all know that Harry wanted to get out of the royal family. He said it was too much of a goldfish bowl, but he never had the nerve to make that move by himself. And then along came Megan and she got with Harry, promising that she's going to get them out. So he'll finally get to have this quiet life that he won, but only if he's going to support her ambitions to be some type of, I don't know, spiritual leader, I guess. So she led him to believe that once she had achieved her mission, then he could just slink into the background and he could spend his days meditating and taking care of some chickens. I think that she enjoys having a man who she can completely control, and who knows, maybe Harry enjoys being submissive. Plus, when he's all cleaned up, Harry is not a bad partner, and he does have that title to drag around the super events that Meghan thinks she's going to be frequenting. 
And there is a standard pattern when it comes to narcissistic behavior. It seems like now Harry is in the evaluation phase by Meghan, and the discard phase comes next. Narcissists always have a plan B. They cannot be without their supply. So let's assume for just a second that it's Meghan Markle initiating the divorce. Well, she'll let a little bit of time pass, and then we're gonna find all about the one who's been waiting on the back burner. Her spin doctors are gonna make sure that the timing is appropriate, and I think that in Meghan's sick mind, she's convinced herself that she's Dubai material. See, Meghan is the type to follow the money, and I'm sure Meghan would absolutely be the one to file for divorce if she knows there's money hiding behind the curtain. Now, I would love if Harry could throw her a curveball and he'd be the one to begin divorce proceedings. But if he were to do such a thing, it would have to be so carefully planned and carefully coordinated for him to be able to escape. The stress of living with such an evil woman has clearly taken its toll on him. I think at this point all the fun is gone, and you can see it in his appearance and his body language. Megan has completely destroyed him, and at this point he's probably questioning his sanity thanks to her gaslighting him. And I'm pretty shocked to see those giant photos of Megan on these buildings advertising that idiotic little program that she created. I mean, honestly, does she really think that she's anything without her connection to the royal family? A connection that, let's keep in mind, she has Harry to thank for? Now, to be fair, without his royal connections, Harry also wouldn't be anywhere in this world. It doesn't seem like he's very smart and I don't think he's able to make informed, well-thought-out decisions. So if the two of them really have kids, where are they? While their parents are just all over the place? They're in the air, they're on the ground, they seem to be everywhere. Her whole life, the thing she has wanted most is to see her name and picture on a billboard. Harry was her ticket to fame and celebrity status, and now she's got it, I think when Meghan said and her little podcast episode about Harry, oh, look who just dropped in. It says a lot about how she sees him. She sees him as something to use, an accessory, a tool, her golden goose. So devaluation stage perhaps, but most definitely the puppet on a string too. I do suspect that Meghan is just slowly gaslighting Harry until he gets tired of it and he wants a divorce. And of course she's gonna want ridiculous spousal support. And if she manages to keep any titles, it's not like they're gonna do her any good. Instead, she's gonna be referred to as just Meghan, I guess so you know what, Meghan? Enjoy it while it lasts, because your time is running out. What do you think about it? Please tell me what you think below in the comments section and we can also talk about Meghan and Harry's marriage.